JT is about to show me what the chips that's Lay's but not Lay's or are they Lay's? It, it is Lay's but it's, it's, it's made different. I don't know. However, the eternity they should. Okay. It smells very meaty. Oh, that's cheap cheddar. Cheddar, yeah. Doritos. Barbecue Doritos. Pork <laughs> rhymes. <laughs> The next one. Look at the Cheeto. Look at the Cheeto. Let's see. They sticks. Cheeto sticks. It's like Rizzo's, Rolitos, <laughs> sticks, Palitos. <laughs> you see his Italian. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> 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 And it was this how I was like, I didn't see no chips like that. They ruffles. I was like, I thought they was rolled because I, I think, I don't know, I think I've seen stuff in my head. But they still lays. Lays ruffles. Them the hot lays. They call them paprika that I don't need. <laughs> Uh, I need to miss up that last word. <laughs> Extra, pasatio, ustisi, on the latte, gusto, baby. Come on now, you better speak your Italian. What is this? Is it a ball? Cheeto ball? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's the end of my, I thought the layers was in a row journey. <laughs> <laughs> they're real food, they're not real I was seeing them. It's okay. Uh -huh. Pizza. I don't know what this is. I know. Is it pasta? Good morning. 
So you guys, I am currently in Siena today. It's my first day that I will be teaching a course. So my course is gonna be focusing on like fashion and cultural adornment. So I'm super excited because I'll be teaching at the university here in Siena. And currently I'm in my apartment. As you can see here, it's a totally different background from Milan. I was in um, a hotel in Milan. So it was more so like a week of exploring Milan. And now we're at our place that we're gonna be staying at for the rest of the semester. So y'all, I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you all this hill that we have to walk up. Oh my gosh, like, it is a lot that I'm like losing some weight from walking almost probably three to six miles a day. So since Siena is more so like a community, we really do have to walk everywhere. A delivery or if it's like a taxi or something right now, they are the only ones that pretty much drive through like the community. So once we get together, um, students come here from the bus. I am, no, once students come here from their dormitory area, I will show you kind of like our route that we have to take and also that hill. You're gonna see, you're gonna see <laughs> how steep it is and we have to pretty much walk that hill every single day once we have class. So students are taking two classes and they're gonna earn about six credits. I'm standing in front of like my window, as you can see, it's kind of loud. But currently right now, I think they kind of have like a mini farmer's market um, outside like my window. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go over there too to get like a pastry. So this, is my view and as you can see over there they kind of have like pastries right there and like a farmers market right there it is 8.06 students will get here by 8.30 and then we're going to walk over to class and we're going to have our first section so I'm super excited and extremely happy. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And now I am officially, I'm officially doing it. I just cannot believe that I'm teaching a course in Italy. And a good thing is too, that I'm not doing it by myself. I have my students here with me and also some other students as well from another university. So it's really an amazing experience. I have no complaints or anything like that. So yeah, I'm so excited. Also, I am definitely finding time to do a little skin to skin and just continue to give you know God praise for everything that he's doing for me that I never thought that I'll be doing so I am going to read my Bible and then it's off to class
It's a vibe. Hey y'all, we are officially in Florence and we are like in this balloon setting before we get into like the entrance. And it is so freaking cool. So let me show you all. a trade show and this is how they are displaying their new collection again from the balloon museum and husky balloons like this is amazing Tierra what you think I would me too Actually, kind of look like a, a Montclair jacket. Hey, Davy. This one right here. Getting doing? on my nerve. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube. It's called Larry Carr. My boy is J. Dot. J. Dot. Zero S. A. One K. Y'all subscribe to our channel. Y'all subscribe to our channel. Y'all subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna put her thing right here. Mm -hmm. She look disappointed right now. Right. She be trying to act like she. But she, she can't love her. Like just love her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she don't want to love us. It's all good. I love you. Hey, this is cute. It says made in air. We are at Pitiwama, which is more so kind of like a Italian magic show. So if you're familiar with um, the magic show where we went to Las Vegas, if not, I can tag it on here so you can kind of see it. This trade show here in Florence is top notch like especially i'm thinking about like display classes and things like that like this has really top magic i'm not even gonna lie as you can see from the interest it's just amazing so now we get an opportunity to kind of like explore on our own and it closes around four so we're gonna go into like different sections and they kind of have like these cute little pop-up shops but it's not like our regular pop-up as you can see so um, students now are like using a restroom and going into different um, stores so yeah they have designer brands they have some local brands around here and it's pretty cool I have to say the least so I'm gonna take you all along with me into like different stores that we're gonna go in but yeah I'm super excited and welcome to Florence These aren't out yet. Huh? So these aren't out yet. Mm-mm. Some of them may be depending on their collection. Okay. 
But majority, like the interest we did, theirs is not out at all. I see that's a year 2024. Mm-hmm. So they kind of got like an early release on some of them and you can kind of like shop in advance. So most people come in here as buyers um, that already have like that store already. It smells good. I don't know what the smell is, but it smells amazing. That is so cool. Creator? Yes. Okay, we can do something if you want. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, tell me what you want. Tell me what are you wearing? Okay, uh, so I'm wearing um, this is a vintage, like in this skirt from Berlin, and this shoes also from Berlin, and this bag is from uh, Milan. You look good. You want to tell me your social media? Uh, my social media it's Murphy Uzayande, my name and surname. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. This is so cute. This makes me want to get more fila. Yes, but this is only a little part of the collection because we are celebrating the 50 years. It shall come out all over the world. This is a fila global. Only about 30 pieces because every country or every continent has the license. I'm definitely gonna have to look more into Fila. This one is Bara. And you said these are names of the different winds. Different winds. That is so cool and unique. I am back 
at my apartment, as you can see, pretty much today was really fun. Florence was really cute. I feel as if Florence is a bit more similar to Milan, but more diverse and um, more friendlier as well. Um, I definitely want to go back to Florence and just really explore it a bit more because that is one of the um, highest tourist attractions um, as well. So I want to go back to Florence eventually. Now we just left Pitiwama and that was pretty much very similar, like I said, to the Las Vegas Magic Show. A wholesale area where if you already have a brand and you wanna come out here to Italy and kinda of source some things that's gonna be coming out in the year of 2024. So you all got like some of the exclusive looks when it comes to Crocs, when it comes to like different Italian brands that we do not have in the, in the US. So um, it was really cool to actually see how they put on for their displays as well. It was really amazing and I hope the students really enjoyed their experience as well just looking at it. I know at the beginning we did the balloon museum which was really awesome and super creative. Whenever I'm like traveling outside of the country I tend to pick up a magazine within that um, country that I'm visiting so this one was a good opportunity because I was able to pick up a number of magazines. So when I was in Milan, I already got the um, Italian Vogue. Um, they did have a copy of that one, but I ended up spilling some water on it. So the covers is not the best. So a couple of ones that I really enjoyed was um, Pub Style. This is pretty much more so for men's fashion, a mix of women fashion as well kind of give you more so that androgynous look where you can dress it up or dress it down and i really do like like the cover of all of this the next magazine that i picked up was icon so icon is a strictly um, men's magazine and i wanted to just pick up more men's magazines because we are now getting more men that's interested in fashion especially at the university so they can have like different things to actually view and also i can talk more about men's fashions and what they look like in the industry today another one that i picked up was the uh, men's um, style magazine here the Italian edition, um, also GQ, of course. And then this one, I am really, really excited about this wear fashion workbook. It's pretty much given new trends that we could be watching for um, the next season. And it's this humongous book. You see like how big it is? And then the images are pretty amazing inside of the book. And they have like a lot of new trends that I kind of, you know, was thinking about this one to re-emerge again. So I'm super excited to see like how everything like comes together. So they also created, um, they also created like different lookbooks to get some inspiration of what the next like looks will look like for the next season. So everything that you've seen in Pitiwama is pretty much items that's going to be coming out in 2024 or some of the pieces are already out in stores. So. I am super excited. I definitely enjoyed my visit at Pituama and hopefully this would be an experience that I can bring more students to as well. And look at this. This is cute. Y'all see the denim and like the jacket. 
Like that is so cute. That is super cute. I'm going to be really looking through this magazine later tonight because I enjoy looking at, you know, curated pieces and different pieces for sure. is like shining I literally just finished my skincare routine and we are getting ready to, to go out and hit the pavement so um, I'm gonna get something to eat and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and see if they have like some bug spray because they kind of have like these tiny spiders um, I don't like spiders and they kind of creep me out a little bit so I'm gonna get some um, spider spray and then, what else I'm gonna do? I think that's really on the agenda. I might stop in like while I'm in a store, get like some candy or something like that, like gummy bears, um, and some gelato later, of course, because we in Italy, we got to eat the gelato. So I'm gonna get that, but basically, like today and tomorrow is more so like a chill day. So. I don't know if I'm gonna probably put anything additional into the vlog or not, but hey, we're going with the flow. And please keep in mind, when I'm vlogging, I'm literally vlogging. Like, I'm going with the flow, I'm not thinking of anything, and whatever comes out, it's coming out. <laughs> I am fully rested. I laid down to the very last minute until I was ready to get up. And the sun is out, so I already know it's gonna be really hot. So I'm prepared somewhat, but yeah, we're going to get things started and let's go. Oh yeah, so it's something else I forgot to tell you. I want to go get some more of this like apple juice. It is so freaking good. It actually tastes like the Martinelli um, or Martinella apple juice that we have back home. This is bomb, like really, really good. So um, they have like different other flavors too, like apple peach and all those things. So um, I'm going to go and pick that up while I'm at the store. I'm also going to take my own little <laughs> shopping glue bags that I got in here. I'm going to take those because when we at the grocery store, they literally like bring you out so fast. And once you pay, they are next ringing up the next person. So it's very different. Like I said, it's very different from home. So um, that way I can just throw it in and if I need to step to the side, I can just put my groceries in like the other bags or whatever I'm gonna get. But yes, so let's go. I'm done talking for right now. <laughs> Let me get my AirPods, my cellular phone, I got my wallet. Yeah, we're all good to go. I said, no lies. We walk a lot. Okay, I am on my phone, but we made it to the store. So let's look for some bug spray and apple juice. If it's over here, smell good. I have the ray plugs, but not spray. I don't have, let's see. This is more so like flies. I need something for spiders. Okay, they got this right here. Insect spray. 
But I don't know if it will kill like spiders or something. I don't know. But I will get this just in case. Okay, so I found it. It's only two left. Like, I'm gonna get this. This is so good. Thank you. 